Okay, so to get ready for the fall garden, I need to pull my cabbage plants from the ground where I'm going to plant radishes. My sister recommended radishes over, um, I think beets was the other one I was considering. So I'm going to try pulling them now. Uh, I did have a worm issue, so I'm going to harvest the cabbage and we're going to see uh, what the end result was and if I even have anything to eat inside. You know, it may be like a shell full of worms on the inside. We're about to find out. Here goes. Okay, so here's the cabbages. One of them definitely has some moldy stuff going on. So, uh, that one there. So, since I don't have forearms, I'm going to harvest them, take them inside, and then we'll look at them. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> I did not cut it off. The bugs were bothering me. So I just took the whole root system. And this one is not looking great. It looks like it might be molding. They're not very big, but the, this kind is not supposed to get super huge. Um, you can definitely see some worm damage. This one is theoretically looking better, and it's hard. This stuff is dirt from pulling them. So now I'm going to cut into them, and uh, we'll see. Okay, so I dropped the scissors. I can already tell you that there is not a good smell coming from this one. So I suspect it's going to be moldy all the way through. But we're about to find out if that was just the sun and the rain that caused it. Or if we will have a mini cabbage to salvage. Rinse it off real quick. <laughs> okay, so it's tiny. <laughs> but other than this brown spot here, it doesn't so far look like the worms have gotten inside the head. So we might have enough to make our own slaw. As for this stuff, I'm going to put it on the back porch right now, um, and then I'm going to come back, uh, and we'll get into the other one, and I will take this out to compost uh, later on. Okay, now for the other one that the head looks relatively healthy. Now, these are Charmant cabbages. These are Charmant cabbages, and um, I know they're supposed to be small. They're supposed to be about six inches across. I didn't measure them. They're about the width of my hand, so probably 45 inches, but again, I needed the space for um for the fall garden and i also kind of knew that i might as well just find out what happened to these guys i'm just too curious so here we go we gotta find out together what the fate of this guy is So it turns out in the middle of opening the other one, I ran out of battery storage space on my phone. And you missed the very exciting moment when I saw a slug and a big spider in <laughs> the cabbage head. Uh, and I, as calmly as possible, carried those outside uh, and then proceeded to rinse off the cabbages. So this is the end result, but you still get to see, you'll still get to see. Uh, so this is the one that I opened first that I... Um, cleaned out first and this is the second one which is definitely bigger seems a little bit healthier um, I didn't have to remove any layers for it but I still want to cut it in ha them in half and I'm gonna process them today anyway I want to cut them in half to see uh, if they're warm ridden on the inside they don't they feel pretty solid but it's my first time growing cabbage so we're about to find out all right so we have them good and uh, I'm going to do it like I would normally process cabbage, except I normally wouldn't cut it down the middle, but this is good news, guys. Looks perfectly clean on the inside. Hallelujah. Yeah. Maybe that's a spot one got through. I'm going to cut a little bit more. I think maybe something's in there, but it doesn't really look like it. Um, I think that's just a natural gap. I don't see any kind of um, animal waste. Poop 
on the inside. Let's see the other one. This is the one that had the moldy leaves that I had to cut out. Um, this one I'm a bit more nervous about. And actually, it looks good too. Look at that. Looks nice and healthy. Now, these cores I'm going to have to cut out and I won't be using for my slaw, but I'm going to get some slaw out of this. So that's exciting. They're uh, not as big. I, I As I said, they're the Charmant. Well, I might, that part might have been cut out when I lost memory. So this is the Charmant variety. Um, and uh, I'll show you how much they produce in slaw. It's probably going to be like a jam jar size. I think this is probably a little too hopeful for a size. I'm probably going to have to go a size down on this. Um, but you know what? It'll be pesticide free, spray free, uh, a lot of work. And um, yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I have homegrown cabbage. So while everything didn't turn out perfect, it turned out pretty good, uh, all considering what could have happened. Um, and although the worms were in the outer leaves, they didn't get into the center that I can tell yet. Um, so pretty excited about that. All right, so here is how much I ended up with. It's a good amount. Uh, I rinsed it just in case I had any extra dirt in there or whatever. Um, I'd say that this is probably the equivalent of half of a large cabbage, maybe a tiny bit more. Um, the pieces are smaller and a little more tender, so I actually left the uh, um, the center, the core of the cabbage in. Um, so this will make a really good slaw. I don't know if I'm going to do fermented or make a fresh cabbage slaw. I have to decide and I'll have my husband weigh in on it. Um, but it smells like cabbage, it smells great, and I'm really looking forward to uh, doing something with it and um, having the excitement of it having grown in my own yard uh, to go with it. And by the way, in case you saw this and were wondering, this is actually how I'm keeping fruit flies off of the tomatoes that I need to harvest because some of them have cracks that fruit flies can... Ooh, that one has a spot. No, that's just a... that's dry. Um, so these are some of the tomatoes I didn't make into salsa earlier in the week that weren't quite ripe but are now and uh, I'm gonna try doing something with it today but I keep this cloth on it to keep their fruit flies out of it. Um, and it actually has helped quite a bit, uh, even with that, of uh, reducing the fruit fly population in our house. Well, that's it for today and finding out what happened to my cabbage uh, and being excited that my fear that it would be a shell filled with worms did not come true. <laughs> so, yay. Good for that. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you aren't already a subscriber, please do and make sure to turn on the alarm so you get a heads up when my videos have come out. And um, if you're growing anything like cabbage, um, tell me what your experience has been. I will probably, if I grow it next year, cover it with something um, to keep the flies out, um, the cabbage moth butterflies away. The cabbage worm butterflies. Anyway, the pests off of the cabbage. But uh, I'm pretty relieved that it didn't turn out worse this time. Um, and I'd just like to hear your experiences or your tips. See you next time.